Now we'll make a couple of other graphs. What if the car moved at 5 feet per second? So again, this is the position over here, measured in feet, and this is the time in seconds. It starts off at 0, 0, so plot that point on your graph. If it's moving at 5 feet per second, then after 1 second, it's gone 5 feet. After 2 seconds, it will have gone 10 feet. And after 3 seconds, it will have gone 15 feet. And so we plot those three points on the graph. And if it's moving at a steady speed, this graph will be a straight line. So you can draw that in. And then on the next graph, we're asked, what if the car moved at 2 feet per second? And again, let's label these. This is the position measured in feet and specifically it's the position at any time and times measured in seconds. So if it goes at 2 feet per second, again it starts at 0, 0. After 1 second it will have gone 2 feet. After 2 seconds it will have gone 4 feet. And after 3 seconds it will have gone 6 feet. It's moving 2 feet per second. So it goes 2 feet in the first second, another 2 feet in the next second, and another 2 feet in the third second. And again, if it's moving at a steady speed, not speeding up or slowing down, we can draw in a straight line. So that's a graph showing where it is at any given time if it's moving forward at 2 feet per second. Now, these two graphs are good to look at side by side because you can see very clearly that when the car is moving faster, the graph goes up more steeply. And when the car is moving slower, the graph is not as steep. And that doesn't just happen to be true in these particular cases. This is a general rule. The faster an object is moving, the steeper the slope is when you graph its position relative to time. Or you could say the, the, the converse of that. The, the slower it's going, the less steep its graph is. The steepness of the position graph gives us an indication of the speed of the object.